IAJ employees. Thank you for joining me for this workshop on building and managing relationships with suppliers, the basics of the business supplier relationship. Basically, these are the guidelines I'll be talking about today of dealing with the transport company that we pick as a more sole, a more collaborative supplier deal. So just this next slide here is the business supplier diagram. This is the so if we're gonna go for a large scale sole supply for our transport needs, uh, we will need to know how to communicate using horizontal communication. Channel between equals, uh, end users, technical staff, uh, inside our organization structure. So, the, and of course, your upper management, they're the big kahunas, you know, not many of them, not many of us are them. So today is discuss with you all how we'll open our communication channels to help develop our supplier. So starting at the operational level, service will be in line with the terms and conditions of the contract. So any contract we have, uh, anything we agree upon, such as a 2 p.m. cutoff time for same day pickups, or a 4 p.m. cutoff time for same day quoting, the operational guys are gonna be sticking to these rules. So we're the guys who run the show, we're the ant to the machine. You will need to adhere to these arrangements for the whole deal to work. All right, so ordering, oh, sorry, back we go, sorry. <laughs> so ordering and supplying the technical information. If we need to organize a shipment to ensure that we receive all the technical information involved and that is guaranteed in the contract, we need to make sure at the operational level that all these things are happening. Otherwise, upper management, strategic, they won't know if anything's going wrong. So any day-to-day -day problem solving that at the level, at operational level, that's when we want to solve these issues before they become a big problem and communication will help that. Say, for instance, a truck doesn't show up, truck shows up late, truck shows up dirty, cattle, cattle, livestock dead. These problems should be solved at this level. They shouldn't have to go up any further. If you, if communication is appropriate, then it shouldn't be an issue. All right, so the next one is the strategic level. Sorry, next one is business level, sorry. So that's the formal management of the agreement. The, so through the feedback, uh, middle management or business level management can monitor and ensure all the terms and conditions of a contract are upheld. So if any problem does actually get to business management, uh, if they must be dealt with then and there. It really, if it does go from operational business, you guys do not want to be going another level. So really work hard to sort out any issues at this level. So any potential changes to the contract, this is the level where they're formulated at. You middle management, you guys are gonna be the ones who think of the small changes, and if any changes are made, you guys have to implement them downwards. So any corrective action, if any, if any issue reaches middle management, the parties from both organizations must get together, do everything they can to avoid it happening again, e.g. a high number of livestock debt, as I mentioned earlier, these things need to be fixed then and there. So strategic level at the at the top, I don't know how many of you top guys are watching or listening or caring what I'm actually talking about. Uh, so this is where the higher ups discuss the topics of the day. Partnership management. They're talking about uh, down the road prospects five years down the line. They're talking about trends. They're talking about markets. They're talking about dollar values. This is where you guys have to discuss the things that could potentially affect the terms and conditions of the contract down the road. So, yes, down the road, those initiatives are put into place and it's paramount when it comes to growing our supply chain that they must that you have to put the future in mind with any deal or any adjustment to the contract that 5 years down the road has to be thought of. So, Lead from the front. 
So you have to set a good example for everyone else down. It's a top down, it's a trickle down system that is showing a good example and leading from the front. It's ensure that if you're the executive account manager that you need to follow the account on both sides, on the sell side, on the buy side. Everyone has to follow the terms and conditions and this trickles down. This is a good example to the rest of the business. So communication. Um, Ensure the communication methods between all the levels in your business are structured in a way, so not just phone calls, but emails. Emails you can you can store, you can track, you can CC in people. I know it seems like dobbing on someone sometimes, but CCing in people is important. This means that someone else is aware of your work. If you're not there, if you're sick, if something bad happens, uh, you know, someone else can handle the task. So... You can also go back to these le uh, and learn from mistakes if you store them properly. So avoid diagonal communication. And diagonal communication, by that I mean, say I am a service desk operator, I have an issue with the call center, I need to book in a booking, I don't personally get the phone and call the management team and say, excuse me, you're not answering my calls. No, you have to hand that up to your contract manager who will then deal with any and all problems with their counterpart at the transport organization. So another thing that's very important is the vertical communication. That is to avoid having to have diagonal. We have to have good vertical communication inside our business. So we have to have, if you have too much work or if you have any problems like that, any technical issues, they have to go up. If you're operational, you have to bring it up with your manager. If your manager, if middle manager has a problem, you have to tell the people up top, otherwise they won't get fixed. So vertical communication is very important for everyday problems inside your own organization. This is allowed, but you know, please don't go complaining to the CEO of the transport company, your issues. So corrective action. So if any problem gets all the way to the top, we have to ensure that non-conformance reporting is done. So any problem that goes up that high will require lots of man hours to resolve. Uh, this is gonna require an NCR uh, non-conformance report. Uh, we need to categorize these issues. You need to make an Excel spreadsheet. I know it's annoying making them, but all of you have to have them. You all have to have separate ones. So you need to be able to show what the problem was, how is it solved, and what was the resolution what did the two parties come together at the end of that NCR? All of this needs to be catalogued. So if any past issue happens in the future, someone can say, oh, we've actually, this has happened before, this is what we did, so on and so forth. So finally, uh, we're gonna need to have all of this communication prescribed for it to work. If you guys are just winging it along the way, it is not gonna work. So you have to follow the rules. You have to do horizontal communication between your levels. You vertically take problems up. You make, and if you ensure this happens, then the two of your organizations will grow through mistakes and through sharing information and ideas on how to become better. So thank you very much for watching this workshop. I hope you're all enjoying your day and hopefully it's Friday wherever you're watching this.